Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. We are currently at World's End and in the beginning of an apocalypse and I thought to myself, today is a good day to film because it will probably be my last one. No, I'm kidding. On a serious note, it's crazy out there. People just need to chill like you're, you're, you're gonna be fine. As you see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about my favorite skincare slash beauty tools slash devices, whatever you wanna call them. I have been wanting to do this video for quite a while now, but there was some um, devices that I had to purchase first and I wanted to try them out before I share them with you guys. And then there's a few others that I have been trying out for a couple of months now and I wanted to, you know, give it some time to see the results before I sat down here and share it with you guys. So, you know, I did just that. So here I am ready to share my favorite or the beauty tools that I'm currently using and and why I like them. Yeah, basically it. I'm going to try to make this video quick because lately my videos have been very, very... I've been ranting a lot. I just, I just got to stop. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the first beauty tool I am going to be sharing with you guys, I already shared it with you guys on my night my nighttime skincare routine. If you guys haven't watched that video, I will link it somewhere here on this video so you guys can watch it. It is the Microdermabrasion Wand from Vanity Planet. I'm going to share with you guys a video of like when I first bought it and how it came in the box and all that good stuff. So I, I don't want to explain the whole thing again, but I'll just try to do it quick since I already explained it to you guys. But maybe you guys didn't watch the other video, so I'm just going to go ahead and explain. That was a weird noise. Okay, so this is how it looks. Is this camera going to focus? Yeah, maybe. No, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. All right. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys like what it does. Okay. Okay. So then this is a little charging station. Um, and then it brings different heads that you can change, switch out. This has like a really rough um, edge or little rough heads. They are called diamond tips. So this is supposed to be rough on the skin and it's supposed to like peel your dead skin off. That makes sense. I'm the worst at this, guys. And then, ooh, this is dirty from the last time I used it. It has little filters inside that they bring a few for you. you can change it every time you use it. You can you have to change out the filter. And if you look at that filter, you'll see there's a lot of dead skin cells in there. Um, so let me show you guys the heads that are bring. Uh, comes in here. Yeah. So this is the little baggie that it brings. Um, the filters. It has a little thing to clean. These are, there's four different heads. This is the normal size one that is diamond tip. So this is the one I usually use to clean. And then I usually, I use the little one too to get to like the rough edges like around the nose. And this is just a massage head. So it's a very smooth um, outing edge, very smooth tip. And then this is a diamond tip as well, but it's very, it's not very big, but it's bigger and this is supposed to be for your body. So basically you put in the little filter, put in the head you want to use, um, you have three levels, uh, one is sucks on your skin, you know, a little bit softer, I usually stay two, three, I feel like it's just way too rough on my skin, and yeah, so then you could either put it manual or auto, is it auto, manual or, manual or auto mode, so I like to do manual, which is you do it at your own pace, you do it whatever direction you want. If you put it on manual, actually, I don't know if I said that right. Manual is the one that you, you just, when you put it on manual, you can go whatever direction you want. You can go in the same spot for how long you want. If you put it on auto, then you, then it tells you, okay, first do the cheeks, then do down here, then do your forehead. And every time, um, you should switch like a beep, a beep, beep, and then you switch to whatever section the little picture is telling you. I don't know if you can really see it there, but it has like a little face image right there. All right, so that's that. Um, now let me tell you guys what it's good for. So it says, 
the microdermabrasion one. It is an at-home microdermabrasion system designed to exfoliate and suction away impurities that can clog pores, leading to inflammation, blackheads, and acne breakouts. At the same time, it stimulates skin, promoting blood circulation, accelerating skin tissues, development, and collagen production. So I put some bullet points. I'm actually going to share all of this in the bottom so you guys can read it yourself. It says, helps reduce acne by clearing away dead skin cells and impurities that can clog pores and lead to inflammation and spots. Because once you put it on your face, it's like sucking everything away. So it can feel a little bit weird in the beginning, but then you'll get used to it. Um, it also says, can help to lighten the appearance of hyperpigmentation, can help stimulate the production of collagen, helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, enhances the absorption of skincare products by up to 50%, suitable for all skin types. So I have, I have found this really helpful. I'm telling you, I've been using it for a few months now and I really, I'm really liking it. And I will continue to use it. Maybe I use it once a week. Usually Mondays are the days that I use it. I'll probably cut it down to um, once every two weeks eventually. I don't want to be too rough on my skin. So I'll probably start doing that soon. But so far, so good, guys. Really like it. Good investment. It was very, it was a little pricey, very pricey. Next one, ultrasonic skin scrubber. So this is the latest device that I purchased on Amazon. There is a bunch to choose from. They all say they do the same thing. So I re really went by the most affordable one and had good ratings because I didn't want to waste so much money on it. Um, you know, I'm already on a budget out here. And well, guys, let me tell you that I was so surprised when I put this on my face. Like, you don't understand. Like, I wanted to do a video for you guys, but it was just so nasty that I just couldn't get myself to finish recording. And if I, I did do like a little clip and I deleted it because I was like, I am not posting that on my YouTube. But, you know, I might just, once I do it again, I'll probably do, I probably will record myself again and show you guys because it's just crazy. Like I thought when I first um, saw the videos of people using this thing, that it was just like fake, that it wasn't gonna do what, you know, what it was showing me. But, guys, when I tell you this is insane, this is insane. So... Let me talk about the, what it actually does and what the heck this skin scrubber is. So basically it looks like a little spatula. And it says, it is a skin exfoliation tool that uses ultrasound technology to deep clean, creating healthier, more youthful skin. I've been trying to open this damn box this whole time and I, it's just not opening, but whatever. Yeah, it's not opening. I'm just going to show you the box and I'm going to show you the product because I have it outside. Um, so it brings a little case and it also brings a little thing to clean it, a little like wipe. Oh, and it brings a USB to charge and and a little wipe that's somewhere here to clean um, the actual thing. So this is the tool. Man, this is what I hate about being so far away from the camera. You guys can't really see it. No, no, whatever. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. Four modes. You can put it on and then in the middle it's the big um, power button. This is how it looks like when you take the cap off. So it's like a spatula, right? So the way I did this was first I steamed my, um, I used this, the facial steamer to make all the pores, everything just come out. And then I turned this on. I put it into ultrasonic. I think it was ultrasonic, which is like the regular mode. I was literally passing this through my skin, like scrubbing it. And like the, the skin itself was like vibrating and everything that I didn't even know I had in there was coming out like it was insane and disgusting it was crazy like i can imagine this like on a face like of someone who has a lot of blackheads you know a lot of i don't know about acne maybe yeah i think it'll help acne too but i can just imagine like everything coming out from someone's face this was happening to me and i was i was shook i was shook i was like oh my god this is legit i have used it once so far i actually want to use it tonight again so I'm gonna do a video because this was this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, 
So let me keep reading for you guys. It says, level sound wave technology is used to penetrate deep below the surface of the skin, promoting cellular renewal and repair, toning muscles, increasing blood circulation, encouraging, encouraging um, drainage, combating puffiness and swelling and improving skin care product penetration. Ultrasonic skin scrubbers also use ultrasound waves to speed up the natural exfoliation process. It's crazy. Loosening and removing the oil, dirt, and other cellular debris from the pores on the surface of the skin. Literally, it did just that. And then I put in little bullet points. is improves appearance of acne, removes blackheads, diminished fine lines and wrinkles, improves collagen, and firms tightens, allows for deeper penetration of skincare products. So it says that um, it helps with like fine lines and wrinkles and stuff because there's other modes that I doubt I use it. But you put it like in your face and like you leave it there for the vibration and it's supposed to just like tighten everything. I don't think I'll use it for that purpose. I think I'll just remain, um, just stay using it for like the removal of like things on my pores and stuff. All right. So this, this was a good $20 investment, guys. I really, really recommend it. All right. Next product. Micro needling my dermal roller. I've spoken about this product. Not this product. I've spoken about this tool a bunch of times. I did it, I used it in my um, nighttime skincare routine video. So I have two sizes. I have the 0.1, the 1 point, yeah, 1 1.0 mm millimeter. I still haven't searched what the M, it has to be millimeter. I don't even know, whatever you, you guys understand. And then I have a 0 0.5. This one penetrates deeper than this one. Sometimes um, I use this one, sometimes I use this, I use this one. It really depends what I want it for, if I have a scar that I want to get rid of. Or if I have like a pimple that I want to like really like penetrate in there. So then whatever I put on it to get rid of it. Acne serum or whatever. Or like go inside. I don't know. Just get rid of that thing. So it really depends what I'm in the mood for basically. So then you can find this anywhere. You can find it like on TJ Maxx, Marshall. Anywhere in the beauty section. Amazon, Walmart. Literally anywhere you can find a dermal roller. So let me read to you guys a little bit about microneedling. It is a cosmetic procedure that's used to treat skin concerns via collagen production, also known as collagen induction therapy. This treatment may help those looking to reduce the appearance of acne scars and stretch mark. Also good for sunspots, fine lines, wrinkles, large pores, and uneven skin tone. Now recommended to do very often. One to two times per week is fine. So I have been doing, I was doing this um, before every Wednesday, so once every week. And it was drying up my skin way too much. Like the days that I would use it the next day, it doesn't matter how much moisturizer and like things I put on my face, serums, the next day I would still feel like it was dry. Like I'll have like little scabs. So I haven't used it for two weeks now. I want to diminish the use. Maybe I'll use it like once, once a month or once every three weeks. I'm not sure yet when I'm going to implement it because it is good and it does help with penetrate with opening up your pores and um and increasing the production of collagen and helping you know the product of whatever syrups you use like vitamin c penetrate the skin better so it does do a lot and i enjoy it i enjoy using it and i enjoy the benefits that it gives you but i need to figure out how i'm gonna put it into my routine all right it also says Recommended size is 0 0.5 to 1.0. It helps acne scars, age spots, fine lines and wrinkles, large pores, other types of scars, reduce skin elasticity, uneven skin tone. All right, next one. Oh, I left it in a bathroom. I gotta go pick it up. Okay. The next product or two is a facial steamer. So this is something I actually didn't um plan on like buying or something that i wanted to buy or anything i actually just bought it because i saw that it was good to use with the ultrasonic um wands not wands scrubber so since it opens up your pores and all that good stuff so i was like okay i'm gonna invest in it and of course i invested in a cheap one from amazon because i really didn't need an expensive one so this is the one that i bought this is the box right here i'm gonna put the link down below oh it does not focus okay there we go we focused so this one actually brought like a little headband and it brought this little thing that i actually haven't even used and it's um like what the and it brings what the estheticians beauticians whatever you use to 
take out um, if you have any pimples or if you have anything um, you want to pop. It brings one, two, four little things like this. So you don't have to be using your nails to, you know, try to get that blackhead out. So I, I think that's very clutch. Ooh, it has Chinese letters. Very cute, very handy dandy. So it was literally three things for the price of one, basically, because it was like extra stuff in here. I like it, enjoy it. Haven't used these, but I will eventually when I need to. So this is how the steamer looks. You put the water until it's where the line is, put it in. Oopsie doopsie. You put it in here, put the little head on, clockwise, boom. Oh. No, I don't know why. It's Five hours later. Right. This head is not cooperating right now, but I will figure it out. Um, it starts um steaming pretty quick, so that's good. And and yeah, let me read to you guys the benefits of using a face a face steamer. It says a facial steamer is a small appliance that sprays a warm fine mist of steam onto your face and neck it's a high-tech version of holding your face over a bowl of hot water you could also do that if you don't want to spend 20 bucks um it helps with deep cleaning pore cleansing helps with firmer looking skin acne prevention beautifully hydrated skin and it is relaxing so that's good all right Next, it's one of my favorite little tools. This little facial brush. Silicone facial brush. Oh my god, I love it. This is like the, this is the booty version of the expensive one that is like for real or something like that. It's called, I spoke about it in my nighttime skincare routine video. Again, if you haven't watched it, I will link it here. It's so clutch. I got it for like, I think it was 20 bucks as well on Amazon. Super cute, super easy to travel with because the size is just great. It helps get to the areas that another um, facial brush you would struggle to get to because you get to the here and the little corners down here. It's just great. Battery, super long lasting. Since I bought it like two months ago, I still haven't charged it and it's still alive. I love it. Super good. And usually, um, these facial brushes is good to have it of the material silicone it's not really good if you use um like the normal brush texture brush little thingy magics because they hold more bacteria so stick to silicone so let me read for you guys what it says the silicone brush is quite soft and comfortable to use Quickly remove facial dirt, make a residue, blackheads help reduce oil and clog pores, make skin more brighter and smoother. Yes, it does. All right, next one is my skincare fridge. Obviously, I'm not going to bring the fridge from the bathroom. So I'm just going to post a little video here and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. So it says, well, let me back backtrack that. I'm going to tell you why it's beneficial to have a skincare fridge and why I decided to invest in one. They are not that, they're affordable. There's, you can find affordable ones, but they're a little bit on the pricey side. Um, this one, the one I'm going to show you guys was like $40, I believe, which is not expensive. It's fine, but it's people use it for skincare, but it, I think it's just for like, if you need a, want a little mini fridge in a room to put water or something in, that's what it's meant for or to travel, not to travel like on a, like to travel like on a road trip or something, whatever. Let me move on. Skincare fridge. So colder than room temperature environment may extend the shelf life of some skincare formulas. Other proposed benefits include deeper penetration of skincare and increased ability of skin care to soothe and calm inflamed skin. So I, I think you cannot um, store in there like oils, but you could store in there like serums, vitamin C serums, hyaluronic acid, um, facial sprays, uh, moisturizers that are more like gel based. Um, you can store in there your jade roller, you can store in there your um, mask, skin mask sheets, whatever, um, facial sheets. And you could probably store in there a little few, a few masks, like um, masks are actually like, you know, product like cream based. And yeah, you could probably store a few more things in there. So 
I love that it's so cold on my skin when I put these products on, especially after doing like a derma break, the, the derma roller or the microdermabrasion that's a little bit rough on your skin. Putting these cold products on just feels so nice and so soothing and so like refreshing. So I really enjoy it and I am happy with my investment in a skincare fridge. Now, before I was actually putting my jade roller in like the fridge on my kitchen, but then walking back and forth from the bathroom to the kitchen fridge. Honestly, it's not like it was a lot because I live in, in this little studio, but still I just wasn't having it. So I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in a skincare fridge. And I didn't end up investing, my mom did, but shout out to her. It was a good purchase. All right, next and the last one, it is a skin. It is a lip scrubber. Guys, I've been up since 6 a.m. Like, I don't even know how I'm doing this video and talking straight because usually I'm not a morning person. And when I wake up really early, I'm just like not functioning right unless I get more than seven hours of sleep. That's just how I work. And I definitely, definitely did not get more than seven hours of sleep last night. So bear with me. Okay. So then, did I say lip scrubber? Yeah. So this is the little lip scrubber I'm talking about. You guys are probably like, what jennifer what the heck is this lip scrubber this is a lip scrubber super little cute thing um i actually got the idea not an idea but i learned about this little lip scrubber from a video i was watching i think it was from like a youtube of vogue i was loud sorry and it was an actress um she was showing her skincare routine or whatever and i thought this was so cute and so handy dandy so i bought it it is from nurse jamie and it came with um, some type of like a lip balm. Not my favorite, but still kind of soft. I actually bought it from Neiman Marcus is where I was able to find it. I don't know if you guys can find it somewhere else, but whatever. Anywho, uh, I love how this feels. If you want to exfoliate your lips, if they feel a little bit dry, if they feel a little bit chapped, you can put it with some lip scrub and then use this to exfoliate if you don't want to use your fingers. Or you can just use it if you want to make the lips a little bit more plumper and get the blood circulation going. You go mm, with some more water and your lips will be a little bit more popping. And that is all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys um, enjoy learning about some beauty tools. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know down below um and check these out i'm gonna link them and i i really have enjoyed each one of them and they've all done different things but i feel like it's been helping with my skincare i definitely don't think i have to go to go get a facial anytime soon so that's good um and yeah guys well i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you guys